Hey, CJ here, and um, I'm here with a new uh, application, maybe you could say. I don't know, whatever you like to call it. Um, right behind me, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's me. I'm spinning in this chair right here. Right, let you zoom in on that. So I'm just spinning. And I'm using QuickTime right now to play this, because that's what you run on. Um, it looks like a movie, but it's not. It's actually a GIF file, G-I-F. Um, and what it basically is, is it's just picture by picture by picture, frame by frame, just like on a regular camera, it takes frame by frame, and it just loops on forever. It's gonna, I'll be spinning there for, for the router. It's never gonna stop. Well, unless I hit stop if I wanted to, like, I hit that one. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? I mean, let me show you another one. I've got, oh, this one's uh, the beer app on the iPod. Touch. Fills it up, and I drink it down. Pretty cool, huh? There's a couple more I've done. Whoops. Um, oh, this is probably my first one that really came out good. Took this uh, amp can and uh, just watch what I do with it. Yeah, let me zoom in on that for you so you can see that. Looks like I'm actually eating that. Pretty cool, huh? Bet you're wondering how I did this. Well, thanks to some software called, let me look it up again, Webcam to GIF. It's basically, it runs on your webcam, and you just click on, take, it in, take the picture, and just keep making it as many as you can. With these, I, like that one, I just constantly get my hand there, and kept tapping, and it did, did the movement, so it looked like a movie. But it's cool. So, let me show you how to do this. Okay, as you can see, I'm over here. Hi. I'm right there. That's me. And um, I've got my MacBook here with its webcam. It only picks this one. I've not figured out how you can use an external camera. But um, right now, I'm using. It's a Adobe, it works on Adobe Flash, I'm pretty sure. I'm still understanding this enough. But um, as you can see, you've got... I'm going to point on the screen. I've got... This is the window that you're seeing now off the camera. And this is what happens when you take the image. So let me just click take image. We're gonna do a very let's do something very simple. Like um, I was practicing this one earlier, and um, I have this little piece of paper I cut out, so it looks like a circle. So watch. I'm just gonna take a picture, move a little bit, take a picture, and keep going, and 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 stop. All right. Now. See, it took all those pictures in. Let me blow this up for you. You will lose it. We'll lose quality, but I'll just let you see it. Now, when you ha this is your frame delay right here. If you can see where my mouse is, the farther you go over to here, watch. Very well. It's not even moving now. But and then when you go over to here, it just goes too fast. Almost, it almost unhuman like. So what I like to do is I like to put it right around here. No, that's a little too much. Now, because I took so many frames and did such slow movements, it looks almost too slow. So, I'll click clear all frames, and I'm going to do this again. Only this time, I'm going to do it in more real time. Watch. If you heard me, I clicked cr pretty quickly. Looks a lot more fluent. Looks a lot more real, which is really good. That's how I did all the other ones. Now, you can select your frame delay. Oops, I just didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. But you can select your frame delay. You can delete frames by clicking, by pausing and going through which ones you want. Over here, you can choose if you want it to loop or if you just want to play once or twice. You can pick your quality level. Um, I just leave it on this because this is pretty good quality for me. Um, I haven't decided to mess with it yet. You can choose your image size. Now, let's just say, let's do that one again. Here we go. Okay. So now, I've got it to about where I'd like it. We'll stop that. I'll click save. Window pops up. And it's asking me, how do I want to save it? I want to save it as, uh, we'll call it paper. Okay, it says choose a GIF file. All right. Here's the only thing with this that I thought was a little bit of a flaw. You can pick where you want to put it. I'm going to put it on my desktop. But when you title it, 
you have to put dot gif for gif dot gif you have to name it yourself it doesn't do it automatically once you do that it'll say right to my desktop and then if we can do this let me open it for you bring it over here there it is put on loop and play and there it is and because a lot of uh, social networking systems like such as uh, here let me zoom in on here so you can see what I'm talking about see I'm moving my camera there are such uh, systems out there for social networking that use that allow you to do this I don't know about fo photo bucket or those things like Flickr but I do know uh, MySpace will let you do it Facebook not so much they will have I haven't quite figured out how they would how they let GIFs work because GIF hasn't worked for me yet so but go ahead and give it a try um, just search GIF or search webcam to GIF on Google and I think this is a Mac OS 10 only I don't know if they have a XP or Vista version yet but go ahead and give it a try if you have a Mac or if you can find it for XP or Vista great try it so tell me what you think and um, maybe post your own on MySpace or something like that I don't know so tell me how they work for you <laughs>